Hello my friends, Kate here. Today I will show you how to crochet this easy little heart. It works up really fast once you get a hang of it. My best is 11 minutes. You can use it as an applique, uh, decoration or as a cute addition to a Valentine's Day gift. On my website you will find a written pattern for this project and a diagram. The links are in the description box below. For this tutorial I used Gazal Giza yarn which is mercerized cotton and a 3mm crochet hook, but you can use any yarn with a corresponding hook. To start, make a magic ring. Wrap the yarn around your fingers and pull the working yarn like so to make a loop. Insert your hook there, yarn over and make a chain stitch. Now make 9 single crochet stitches in the center of the loop while at the same time keeping it with your fingers so that it doesn't unravel. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the bell button to never miss a video. When you have your 9 single crochets, pull the end of the yarn to close the loop. As you can see, now your first stitches are curled up towards you. Now you can make a slip stitch in the first single crochet to close the round. Fantastic! Now you can tighten the loop even more by pulling the yarn end. Now make 3 chain stitches. Yarn over twice and insert your hook in the nearest available space, close to your chain. Now you've got four loops on your hook. It's a treble crochet. Work the loops two by two until you end up with one. Now yarn over twice again and work another two trebles in the next stitch. Both of them should be made in the same stitch. Now yarn over once and work two double crochets in the next stitch. Again, two in the same stitch. Double crochet is shorter than treble, so we only yarn over once. Great, now repeat it in the next stitch. Two double crochets in the same stitch. Now be careful because we are going to do something else here. Yarn over twice and work one treble in the next stitch. Mm -hmm. 
Now we are doing a picot, so chain 3 and make a slip stitch in the first chain stitch to form a tiny loop. I always aim for the back bump of the stitch, you can see it here. Great! Now yarn over twice and work a treble crochet in the same stitch you've worked before, so that two trebles grow out from the same stitch. Now we're going to repeat everything on the other side of the heart, but in the reversed order. So your next stitch will be two double crochets in the same stitch. Repeat it in the next stitch as well, two double crochets in one. Next, make two treble crochets in one stitch. Your last stitch is one treble crochet in the next stitch. Now make three chain stitches. and attach it with a slip stitch to the center. There is a tiny heart already, but we are going to make another round to make it a little bit bigger and plump. To start another round we need to move to the left a little and to do so we must work slip stitches in the three chains you see here. It will create a kind of double chain but it won't be visible. Start with making two chain stitches. In this round you will be working between the stitches, not in them. Start with one double crochet between the chain stitch and the first treble. Next work two double crochets in one space. 
We are going to repeat it in the next two spaces so that you've got three pairs of double crochets in total. Great, now work one double crochet in the next four spaces. Next, make one double crochet in this big chain space in between the trebles. Now aim for the center of the picot. We need to work three single crochets there. Now onto the other side. Repeat what you did but in the reverse order. First, work one double crochet in the big chain space. Next, work another four double crochets, one in between each next pair of stitches. Now work two double crochets in one space and repeat it three times so that you've got three pairs of double crochets in total. You have now reached the last space. Work one double crochet there. Now make two chain stitches and and go back to this chain you see here. Make two slip stitches in the next two chains. And your last slip stitch should be in the middle.
And that's all! Your little heart is ready. You can use it as an applique or join a bunch of them together with a piece of string to make a garland. Such decor will be great not only for Valentine's Day but also for birthday celebrations or baby showers. I like to tie the ends of the yarn in the back, but you can weave in the ends using any method you like. As I mentioned before, on my website you will find a written pattern for this project, as well as a diagram. All the links are in the description box below. If you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or would like to see more, please leave suggestions and feedback down below. Thanks and have a creative day!